I've got a cylinder block here. We're going to be making a measurement on uh, the main bearings that uh, hold the crankshaft in position in the block, um, the main bearing bores, uh, to determine whether or not uh, the block itself has any warping problems, at least in the, the bore part of the block. So I'm going to remove this bed plate. This particular block um, uses a bed plate uh, to retain the crankshaft in position so the main bearings are part of this bed plate. So I'll just take this bed plate off. I've already loosened it up and I'll just show you. Um, we can see the bearings in here. These are just the main bearings uh, that hold the crankshaft in position. To make this measurement you would actually want to leave this installed. You would want to remove each of these bearings um, to make the measurement. Um, but uh, this would remain installed. I'm simply removing it for the process of making it uh, easier to see what I'm doing. Alright, so the measurement that we're concerned about is the line bore. And that's in reference to how the crankshaft sits inside of the block. Is this very straight and precise, or is, it, is there any type of warpage? So I've got a precision straight edge right here. You may notice that it has a machine side on this side and a uh, non-machine side. So I definitely want to use this side. There'll be a piece of plastic, typically, that uh, is on this uh, straight edge that helps to um, protect the edge. So I would stick this in place. I'm just going to stick it facing straight down and hold it in position. It, the straight edge needs to be the entire distance of the block. So it needs to be able to rest on the main bearing bores at, at either end in order to accurately make this measurement. So I've got this in position. I'm going to hold it right there and then we're going to make this measurement just right here on this center uh, bearing. We'd want to make this measurement on any of the interior bores um, but we're going to focus directly on this one right here. So I, I would grab my feeler gauge and I'm simply just going to bend it and try to slide it up under the straight edge. So I'm on this side. Um, I'm simply just bending it down and then trying to slide it in position. Okay, so I'm looking for any type of a gap in there. Now your, your block may not have a specification for this. Um, line bore is typically what it's called. If it doesn't, um, you can simply just take the oil clearance measurement and divide it by half. So if my oil clearance measurement was two thousandths of an inch, I would not want to exceed one thousandth of an inch on this line bore um, measurement. 